I wrote it a while ago, probably about 12 years ago, at a time when I was writing lots and lots of different ideas that might work with Charlie and Lola, because it's always about the little things in life. And numbers, I thought, were a wonderful place to start a story. Because I think when we start out in life, people are always counting to us. And it's a way of getting children to do things. And you see it all the time where someone says, it's just 10 more steps until we get home. Or you count them as they go up the stairs. And you count the food as it goes in your mouth. And it's, a, it's something that we understand from a very, very early age, the sort of one, two, three of things. For someone who's very young, the idea of divided between two seems quite an abstract idea. But then when you're talking about one thing each, so it's one thing divided by two, what, what do you end up with? You end up with, um, you know, half and half. And, and, and so I think it's something a child can grasp is that sort of idea if you keep saying it lots of different ways and you suddenly get it because one of those ways makes sense to you I think you can have a lovely conversation about it I suppose that's what I think books do particularly for the very young it allows a discussion and the child starts to make um, little connections and you're there to hear that you know, it's it's not taken away from you suddenly you're it's not something that's happening in the classroom, it's happening at home, right in front of you, and you get what they get. Do you understand that parents sometimes do feel anxious about maths and about talking about things numerical to their children? Yes, I do, because I have been um, a child who, who didn't find maths particularly easy. And um, but I was lucky because I had a mother who was very, very good at explaining it. But I used to think about it when I was little and think I will never be able to talk about, about this subject with my own children. And I think actually through my work I've realised maths and numbers and numeracy um, come in all different packages in a way. It's not just one thing. You realise that they, when I began to see that there's maths in art and how useful it is and maths in music and um, the patterns as well in things. Nobody has ever explained to me the patterns in, in the times tables and that, that you, you start to see num the way the numbers go and then you realise, oh, it's so easy because in fact they keep repeating and you can guess what they're going to be. And all of those things, if you can see the joy of it rather than it's something that's not for you. And also I think if you can take it apart and see its usefulness, it, like with fractions, I think I always had a problem with those because I couldn't quite see how they were going to fit in my everyday life. And of course they're incredibly useful. And there are things that you can do. I used to be quite good at the geometry because I'm a much more visual person and that made sense to me. Algebra, no, I, I just couldn't understand that at all and why it would ever be something for me. But I think it's all about the explaining. And I think one of the ways I wish I'd been taught is the, the more Montessori way where you actually look at a jar of 100 beads and then a jar of 1,000 beads. And then you start to see what it looks like as a thing rather than just this abstract um, numeral. So making maths more visual? Yeah, making it more visual because everybody learns in different ways and a lot of people won't get the visual thing. But I that's how I learn so and I think a lot of our learning doesn't work for people who are very visual. So was your experience of maths at school then not an entirely happy one? It wasn't a happy one at all I think I think when I was when I was little it was because I had I went to a village school where there was a very inspiring teacher and I I sort of got it and then it ran away from me when I, probably when I got to about 12 and logarithms and all of those sort of things I just was it was swimming around my head and I didn't know what was going on and then again probably in my last year of O levels I had the most brilliant teacher but it, he wasn't he only, I only had him for a year and it wasn't quite enough you know but I could see how it could become something that I would really get and I think I just missed the boat but you have come back to it I've come back to it because 
because I can see it's I can see its appeal and it's a sort of magic. I think that's the thing about maths. There is a kind of magic to it.